When you're going into cybersecurity, especially as a beginner, but no matter what level you are, you have to understand that cybersecurity is hard. Even as a pen tester that is a professional in the field and I have been for the last five years, I still find difficulty in this stuff every day. It's really hard to think of a single day that went by where I was doing this stuff and I didn't run into some kind of difficulty or have some kind of hardship along the way. It is very rare even for a senior pen tester to just, unless you're just working on some CTF challenge that's for beginners or something. Aside from that, if you're actually doing the on the job work, especially, you're going to find it hard. Every day I encounter something that is either new to me that I haven't seen before, or I have seen it before, but it's just really difficult, right? So if you have that experience, you consistently have that experience, what you need to understand is that you'll never reach this mystical point. I mean, a lot of people think they're going to reach some magical point where now I just know how to hack everything. Now I just don't have, I don't struggle anymore. This is easy now. It's just, wow, yeah, I'm just like on the keyboard, like in the basement with my hoodie on and I'm just hacking everything and everything is, is blissful and, and easy. That is, a, that is a fantasy that never comes. Uh, because cybersecurity is hard. I've never once encountered anyone that said anything to the contrary. I mean, just talking to all of the best hackers, you know, people that I hack with in my company that are insanely skilled, insanely good. They have every certification under the sun in some cases. They still will echo this same sentiment that it's just really difficult. And you now, why is it so difficult? Why is that the case? Well, one of the main ones is that it's not so much that there's a lot to learn. There is infinite to learn in cybersecurity. Now, with that being said, you don't have to know everything, but you really need to be clear, especially early on in your learning journey. You need to get clear on what is it that you want to do in cybersecurity because the term cybersecurity is insanely broad, right? You can go into pen testing as I do. You know, you could go into, you know, focusing in on the red teaming within pen testing. You could go for governance and compliance and stuff like that. You could go for SOC analyst, anything on the blue team side, threat intelligence, all kinds of stuff. So yeah, if you look at cybersecurity as a whole, you're never, you're never even going to scratch the surface. There's infinite amount of stuff you can learn, even within pen testing. That's still not enough. You say, okay, I know I want to be a pen tester. That's what I want to do. That's still not enough because... There's an infinite amount of stuff you can learn as a pen tester, right? You can get into mobile, you can get into API, you can get into Active Directory, red teaming, you could get into purple teaming, you could get into IoT, you could get into exploit development, right? I mean, even within that, right? <laughs> you keep going down the rabbit hole even deeper. Okay, well, I'm into exploit development. What kind of exploits? Are you developing for web? Are you developing for binary? Are you developing, um, you know, at the chip level for IoT devices? You know, what, you know, are you doing game exploitation? You know, there's infinite amount of things that you can really specialize and fine tune in. And yeah, it just goes on and on. You, the point being is that if you don't have a plan, of what you're gonna learn, you're already dead in the water, you're, you're toast. <laughs> so you have to have a plan. Now, I think early, early on, the very beginning stages, if you're watching this video right now and you're like, okay, well, I don't even know, you know, Ryan, I don't even know what I want to do within cybersecurity. I don't know what interests me the most. Fair enough. I would say to those people, I would definitely say, you wanna dip your toes in the water of a lot of different stuff. Don't go very deep into any one thing. Just get a taste for, various things and find out which seems the most interesting to you and what what naturally kind of draws you towards it. For all of those things, there is going to be some kind of pathway into getting a job doing that. Now, personally on this channel, I teach people how to do what I do and that is become a pen tester and a red teamer. But if you do wanna become a SOC analyst, then there's a different path that you can follow for that. But I think, in my opinion, that is the beauty. That is one of the true beauties of this field is that, you know, it's a lot different than if you say wanted to be an accountant. You know, becoming an accountant, there's a very strict, you know, straight and narrow path that you follow in order to become an accountant. There is no, there's very little wiggle room or uncertainty in how you become that. Whereas with pen testing, there's an infinite number of routes. And what it really comes down to is what do you want to do? If you want to be a pen tester, well, what do you want to specialize in? Now, if you're more beginner, you don't have to worry too much about specialization. 
You want to focus on the fundamentals. I call them the core three of pen testing. So that is web pen testing, network pen testing, and active directory. So if you have all three of those, you're well on your way. Maybe pair that with a little bit of knowledge of cryptography and programming, and you should be all set for interviews. But you could easily allow yourself to be pulled in all these different directions. And if you're not disciplined and you don't come in with a plan and stick to that plan, then you're going to be in really bad shape in this field. And that is one of the main reasons that cybersecurity is hard. Another reason it's hard is that if you think about it, you're trying to do something you're not even supposed to be able to do. Now, I have no doubt that programming is, you know, being a software developer is extremely hard. I've never been a professional software developer myself, but from what I've heard and from what I've seen in my experience, even writing scripts and stuff like that, Programming is hard, but at least, at least with programming, you have the saving grace that what you're trying to build generally is something that you should be able to build, right? With cybersecurity, you're trying to do something you're not even supposed to be able to do. So just putting it into that perspective, yeah, of course it's hard. Of course it's difficult. Another reason that cybersecurity is so difficult is that not only do you have to know how to exploit that, that is kind of the second layer. Before you can even understand how to exploit something, you have to understand what that thing is, right? So for example, if I'm trying to exploit websites that are vulnerable, well, how am I going to do that if I don't understand how the internet works? If I don't understand how basic, you know, programming flaws can exist in applications? How can I do that if I don't understand, you know, basic HTTP requests and responses? If I'm trying to exploit a server on a network? How can I do that if I have no knowledge of networking, if I have no knowledge of ports and common vulnerability? How could I do that, right? So that is what makes it so much more complicated is that you have to understand not only the exploitation part, but before you can even get there, you have to understand what you're exploiting. You have to understand how the technology is supposed to work in the first place. And that is honestly what really separates the script kitty from the professional is the script kitty, all they know is how to fire exploits. And if the exploit doesn't work, they're kind of out of luck. Whereas the professional, they understand not only what the exploit's doing, but they understand why it works because they understand the technology that they're actually exploiting. So that is what the key distinction is. And that can take some time to to learn and, and get to that level on especially multiple technologies, you know, that is why it's so important to just focus on the core fundamentals, right? Understand how the internet works, understand how networks work, understand how Active Directory works, and then from there, learn how to exploit those things. Of course, this is all speaking to the person that wants to become a pen tester or a red teamer. If you want to go into governance and compliance and stuff like that, there's a whole nother set of things that you need to learn. If you're feeling overwhelmed in this field, let me first just assure you, you are not the only one. I mean, I feel overwhelmed all the time. It's, it's not that big of a deal. You just focus in on what's most important. You focus in on learning one thing at a time, the thing that's in front of you. If you want to learn network pen testing and you're struggling at web pen testing, you're struggling in Active Directory, you're struggling in all these things that you don't even, you can't even put a name to because you don't even know what it is. <laughs> Don't worry about that for right now. Just focus on one thing at a time and just learn that thing and then go to the next thing. And then over time, you're going to look back eventually and you're going to say, wow, I really learned a lot. All these things I didn't know before. I know this. I recognize this. I recognize this. I recognize this. It's the same thing if you're trying to learn a language, right? The first time you hear a foreign language that you can't speak, you have no idea what they're saying. You're super overwhelmed. You're like, I have no idea. I couldn't even recognize one word. And, you know, you study, you study, you study. You, you know, keep immersing yourself in the language. Suddenly you notice, oh, I can pick out one word like every other sentence. And before I couldn't. And then eventually you learn more and more. And, okay, I actually can pick up a few sentences now that I couldn't pick up before. And maybe along the way it feels like, oh, I'm not learning the language at all. I don't know anything. When the native speaker speaks fast. I still have no clue what they're saying, but over time you unlock more pieces to the puzzle to eventually you learn your second or third language or whatever. And you're like, okay, I can pick up on what they're saying. I actually, this makes sense to me now. It's like, when I say the word cat to you, you can't not think of a cat because you know that word, you understand that word. So in the same way, you know, piece by piece, you build out your pen testing knowledge and 
experience. You know, you do that not just through studying grammar when you go to learn a language. You do that by immersing yourself in the language. Same thing with pen testing. You're not just going to learn this stuff by learning about the theory behind it and studying it from a textbook. You're going to learn it by putting your hands on the keyboard, clickety-clackety, clicking the mouse, right? Actually doing the thing. And through that, eventually you're going to keep stacking and stacking the knowledge on top of each other till you look back and you're never going to reach that point of complete fluency, just like in the English language, if that's your native tongue and you're watching this video or whatever your native tongue is, you don't know every word in the language. If you read a really difficult book, piece of literature, right? You're probably going to have to look up some words. You don't know everything but you know enough that you can say I'm fluent in this language. So the goal isn't absolute mastery of pen testing. The goal is fluency in pen testing where, okay, I don't know everything and I have to look stuff up all the time, but I know how to learn what I don't know. And I know enough that I can provide value in a you know company, Senate corporate environment, or whatever your goals are. Maybe you're a freelancer whatever the case may be. So we're going to get you all there. If you're watching this video, that is an excellent start. And just stay in the game. Don't get discouraged. Just keep on adding and stacking on that knowledge on top of each other. And if you want to get into some more technical content so they can keep that momentum up, um, after you watch that video, be sure to actually put your hands on the keyboard and apply the stuff that I'm teaching you. Perhaps build out your own lab as I advocate all the time on this channel. Well, I got those videos on screen for you right now. I'll see you guys right over there. Thanks for watching.